Okay, so once again, good afternoon everyone and welcome to our uh, class no, for the Human Resource Management for Public Sector. Actually, the topic for this is very interesting no? because uh, motivation is a word easy to say but too hard to know if the persons or employee appreciate. Actually, most of the time, majority of the employee must prefer higher salary or increase of the salary. But of course, for us to... Uh, to give us more uh, inputs related to uh, motivation, let us all welcome Sir Joseph Mercado. Go ahead, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Good afternoon. It is start. Actually, my topic for today was originally entitled Motivation, Possible, Probable, or Impossible. Well, I just, uh, I opted to, to use the title motivation itself and use the, the original title as the question that you, that we will answer at the end of the uh, presentation. So to continue, as an overview, one of the most important functions of management is the is to create willingness among the employees to perform in best of their abilities. The role of a leader is to arouse interest in the performance of employees in the jobs. That can be done down in the process of motivation. Therefore, we can say that motivation is a psychological phenomenon, which means needs and wants of individuals have to tackle by framing an incentive plan. There are a lot of definitions uh, that were given or to define motivations. Motivation came from the root word motive as defined something as a need or desire that causes a person to act. While motivate is, is, de is defined as the object influencing a choice or prompting an action. Motivation is generally defined as the force that compels us to action. It, it drives us to work, to work hard, and pushes us to succeed. Motivation influences our behavior and our ability to accomplish goals. Motivation is a characteristic that helps us achieve our goal. It is the drive that pushes pushes us to work hard. It is the energy that gives us the strength to get up and keep going, even when things are not going our way. According to Scholem and Herbigel, motivation represents forces acting within a person that causes a person to behave in a specific or goal-directed manner. And according to that, the arousal direction and persistence of behavior is called motivation. While according to Robbins and DeCenso, the willingness to exert high levels of effort to reach organizational goals conditioned by the effort's ability to satisfy individual needs. Additional definition gives motivation as an internal and external factors that stimulate desire and energy in people to continually interest, interested and committed to a job, role, or subject, or to make an effort to attain a goal. It's, it's a psychological processes that cause the arousal, as mentioned earlier, direction and persistence, of voluntary actions that are goal-directed. Motivating people is about getting them to move in direction which is required in order to achieve a result. Definition, I would like to remember. The first one is from Michael J. Jusius, the fifth president of the, of the University of Chicago. says that motivation is the act of stimulating someone or oneself to get a desired course of action 
or to push the right button to get desired action. From Dwight D. Eisenhower, the 34th U.S. President, he defines motivation as the art of getting people to do what you want them to do because they want to do it. So why is motivated motivation needed? Motivation is needed because it is a management tool that helps improve the behavior of an individual. It can compel an employee to act to meet the organizational goal. It is securing com commitment and willingness to the people towards the organization. It can act as an incentive for workers to achieve defined objectives. It is an energy directed toward goals. It puts human resources into action. It improves level of efficiency of employees, leads to achievement of organizational goals, builds friendly relationship, and leads to stability of workforce. Motivation is important to an individual as it helps him achieve his personal goals. If an individual is motivated, he will have he will have job satisfaction. Motivation will help in self the develop, development of the individual. An individual would always gain by working with a dynamic team. Motivation. reduces organizational issues. The more motivated the employees are, the more empowered the team is. The more is the teamwork and individual employee contribution more potiful, potiful, poti profitable and successful is the business. During period of amendments, there will be more adaptability and creativity. Motivation will lead to an optimistic and challenging attitude at workplace. Motivation is important in getting and retaining people. Motivation tools act as the glue that links individuals to organizational goals. In addition, make individuals go beyond the job and be creative. Motivation is important in business because it impacts mental and physical human reactions. Highly motivated individuals and staff have a willingness to get the job done efficiently and effectively, resulting in higher productivity, increased revenue, cost savings, and satisfied employees and business owners. And finally, motivation bridges the capacity to work of an employee to willingness to work. The, the motivation is the connecting factor that the skill of the employee can be put to use with willingness. Let us now first study the basic principles of motivation or what we call the ABCs. One of the ba basic principles is that all people have some kind of motivation. Every people, whatever stature in life, have some kind of motivation. Others might find motivation in material things. Others might not, might not. There are reasons behind the things people do. There's always reason to what, uh, to why a person do something or why a person pursue for something. And lastly, people cannot be motivated by force. I think history can tell that force could not provide better outcome. I, I experienced uh, strict bosses that, that uh, helped help us and helped me uh, give my best through force, through strictness. 
but I believe employees can give their better performance, not only good, or probably their best, if they are uh, motivated, not by force. Motivation and job performance. Job performance is viewed as a function of three factors and is expressed with the equation below. That is according to Mitchell, Porter, and Lawler. According to this equation, motivation, ability, and environment are the major influences over employee performance. Performance is a function of interaction between individuals' motivation, ability, and environment, or in an organization, organizational support. Motivation is one of the forces that lead to performance. So if, we, if, if performance in an organization is very important, one of the factors should also be uh, taken care of. Hindi siya dapat mapabayaan. When we refer to someone as being motivated, we mean that the person is trying, trying hard to accomplish a certain task. Motivation is clearly important if someone is to perform well. However, it, it is not sufficient. Ability or having the skills and knowledge required to perform the job is also important and is sometimes the key determinant of effectiveness. Finally, environmental factors such as having the resources, information, and support one needs to perform well are critical to, deter, to determine performance. So, it is important that uh, our leaders usually uh, provide the needs because it helps us uh, to, get to get motivated to perform our jobs. However, some leaders uh, declares declares the target gives the target but does not give the tools how to achieve the target so in my belief it should come hand in hand it should come together the the obligation of a leader is to provide the tools that will help his or her subordinates to reach the, that particular goal or finish the particular task types of motivation based on the different factors and the kind of impact it has on a, per on a person there are different types of motivation the different types of motivation in people are intrinsic motivation this type comes from within a person to do a task or achieve a particular goal it is a feeling of being self-driven and achieving objectives for oneself Intrinsic motivation is driven by motives like social acceptance, eating food, desires to achieve goals, biological needs, etc. Extrinsic motivation drives an individual due to external forces or parameters. Some other person or organization motivates the individual to work hard to achieve certain goals or tasks. Extrinsic motivation is driven by motives like financial bonus, rewards, appreciation, promotion, punishment, demotion, etc. Number three, positive motivation. Positive motivation is a type that drives an individual by offering positive accolades and rewards for performing a task. In this type of motivation, the, in the individual is rewarded by monetary benefits, promotion, etc., which drives an individual, individual to work. The negative motivation is where fear and threat are used as a parameter to get the work done. In this type of motivation, individuals are threatened with things like demotion, Reducing benefits, withdrawing merits, etc. 
for every individual, all the types of internet based on which he or she takes an action, the resultant behavior of any person is basis of motivation types he or she has been influenced by. So in our different, in different uh, setups in our offices, there are different factors that we can uh, uh, categorize into different types of motivations. So those, those factors can influence can, can influence as, as, an, as an individual, as a team, as a team member, as a worker, as an employee, on how we perform things and, and how we perform uh, our jobs. The motivation process. In its simplest form, the motivation process begins with a need, an individual's perception of deficiency. It is a cycle of need identification, searching ways to satisfy needs, selecting goals, employee performance, consequences of performance, rewards and punishments, the assessments of need deficiencies. Need identification. The first phase of motivation process is need identification where the employee feels some unsatisfied needed need. The motivation process begins with an unsatisfied need which creates tension and drives an individual to search for goals that if attained will satisfy the need and reduce the tension. Searching ways to satisfy needs. The second phase is finding the different alternatives that can be used to satisfy the needs, which were felt in the in first stage. These needs lead to top processes that guide an employee's decision to satisfy them and to follow a particular course of action. Selecting goals. Once if the need is assessed, an employee is able to find out the way to satisfy the need, the next phase is selection of goals to be performed. Employee performance. These needs lead to top processes that guide an employee's decision to satisfy them and to follow a particular course of action in form of performance. Consequences of performance. If an employee's chosen course of action results in an anticipated outcome and reward, that person is likely to be motivated by the prospect of a similar reward to act the same way in, in the future. However, if the employee's action does not result in the expected reward, he or she is unlikely to repeat the behavior. Reassessment of need deficiencies. Once felt need is satisfied, through certain rewards in response to performance, then employee reassesses any deficiencies and entire process is repeated again. Top factors influencing motivation. Keeping employees motivated is the, big, is the biggest challenge for companies for ensuring that they give a high productive output at work and help in achieving company goals. A positive motivation amongst employees helps drive the business positively and enhances creativity. On the other hand, a demotivated employee will not contribute eff efficiently and slow down progress and work and workplace at workplace the key elements and top factors which influence employees in business or people in general are as follows the first one is salary a monetary compensation and benefits like your salary perks performance bonuses etc are the biggest motivation factors 
the better the salary and monetary benefits, the higher is the motivation level and passion of a person towards a job. The second one is recognition. Rewards, recognition, accolades, etc. are important to ensuring high enthusiasm levels for an employee. If the hard work of an individual is appreciated, it keeps them motivated to perform better. The third one is work ethics. Ethical working environment, honesty, etc. are important factors for any individual. Good work ethics in a company helps keep employees motivated at workplace. Transparency in leadership. The leadership in an organization helps in employee motivation if there are transparent discussion and flatter hierarchies. The senior management has to ensure that all subordinates are happy, focused, and motivated. The fifth one is cultural at work. A good, vibrant, Positive culture at workplace is always an important factor. People from different backgrounds, religions, countries, etc., working together helps create a social bond of workplace. The sixth one is learning and development. Another factor influencing is the training and development opportunities that a person gets. Learning and development helps individuals develop more skills, and have better opportunities in their professional career. Seventh is work-life balance. Having a good quality of work-life balance helps in the motivation of people. A good work-life balance ensures that a person can give quality time to both office work as well as family. With the credit situation that we have now in the pandemic, many realizes the importance of work-life balance, especially if you work from home. Sometimes it's, it's, it's already over eight to five, but your boss still uh, calls and gives you something to work on. Although others find it more advantageous that they work at home because they need not have to commute and need not have to uh, take the chances of being infected. Number eight, career growth opportunities. Career development opportunities have a positive influence on the motivation of any person. If a person knows their future and career path is secure, they tend to work with more passion. Typically, a lot of employees would want to have growth, career growth in their current positions or in, in their companies. However, very limited or very small percentage of employees usually uh, invest in those uh, career growth opportunities. They are lucky if their company provides scholarship or can shoulder the expenses for their trainings and other career growth uh, opportunities. Health benefits. Health benefits, insurance, and other incentives act as a source of motivation for people. If the medical bills, hospital hospitalization, charges, etc., are taken care of by the company, it helps build a strong trust. And lastly, communication. A positive 
and transparent communication between managers and subordinates gives a sense of belonging and adds to the employee's motivation. Discussion related to work as well as personal life help make a friendly bond at workplace. There are not finite factors influencing positive attitude of an employee. This keep on changing depending upon the type of environment, job responsibility, experience in life, etc. Hygiene factors of motivation are also given by the hygiene theory. There are different theories of motivation and i believe this will be this topic will be discussed by the next reporter however please allow me to give you an overview of of some of these motivation theories Theories tailors scientific management or theory of motivation states that managers should maintain close control and supervision over their employees. Autocratic style of management, managers make all decisions themselves. Theory X approach to workers believe workers are lazy and are only motivated by money. Motivate workers using piece rate payment, pay based on how much they produce. According to Mayo, workers are not just motivated by money, but also by having their human social needs met. Increase motivation by better communication between managers and workers, greater manager involvement in employees' working lives, working in groups. So Mayo conducted the uh, uh, came down to this conclusion when he conducted the Hawthorne experiment. And practice, therefore, businesses should introduce team working and personal de departments to look after employees' interests. Abraham Maslow. According to him, five levels of human age which employees need to have fulfilled at work. Only once a lower level of need has been fully met, would a worker be motivated by the opportunity of having the next need up in the hierarchy satisfied? A business should therefore offer different incentives to workers in order to help them fulfill each need in turn and progress up the hierarchy. On the right side shows the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. McGregor's Jury X, Jury Y. McGregor believed that managers have two different views of workers in terms of attitudes to work and motivation. Jury X view of workers are workers dislike work and are lazy. Workers must be controlled and punished where necessary. Workers try to avoid responsibility, while the theory why view workers in opposite, that workers like to work and enjoy new challenges, that workers like to make decisions and are creative and imaginative, and that workers seek responsibility. In the two-factor theory, Motivators, hygiene, or maintenance factors of 
Hersberg. Motivators are factors that directly motivate people to work harder, giving responsibility, recognition for good work, opportunities for promotion. Hygiene factors are factors that can demotivate if not present, but do not actually motivate employees to work hard. Pay, working conditions, job security. Motivate by using motivators plus ensuring hygiene factors are met. The use of job enrichment and empowerment, delegating more power to employees to make their own decisions. Rocker's importance of the objectives. Setting objectives is a key method of motivation. Important that employees can measure their performance. Profit targets are important motivators. Also supported good pay, promotion, and communication. Peters involving employees and recognizing champions. He believes that employers should recognize champions to give sense of respect mission, involve workers in all aspects of the business, offer official incentives like target-related bonuses, and provide job security. So here's the question. Motivation, is it possible, probable, or impossible? I believe motivation is very much possible. At least as uh, it, has, it has tools, it has different tools and techniques that can be used to motivate people. And there are already studies that has been that uh, have been done uh, in order to to compare the performance of employ those employees that have been motivated and those who have not. Probable, yes, probable or impossible because motivation of employees will greatly depend on the kind of leaders and the kind of support that the organization gives their employees. So for this question, I should say, all is possible. Motivation definitely is possible. Can likely to happen, can happen, probable, and impossible to happen if the organization and the managers or the leaders of such organization does not care to their employees, but only to their profits. However, as a government employee, I don't, I don't think this would be, there would be a bigger difference. To be honest, I believe in government, we have all the, uh, we have a lot of uh, motivational factors for us to do our best in helping the government and in serving our constituents from the salary uh, standardization law to different fringe benefits to different benefits of being an employee. I think we should all be motivated as an as a government employee as a as a public servant and that is i think is the 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 correct or the most uh right way of calling 
government employees as public servants. We should always inculcate in, in our minds that we are servants of the public and that we uh, should be always um, be motivated in providing them support in providing them the services they need. Whether be it internal or external clients of our agencies. I think that will be all, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. By the way, again, uh, motivation is a powerful energy that drives and excites employees, right? Which results in their maximum contribution. Setting and achieving goals, no? clear expectation, recognition, feedback, as well as encouraging management, all contribute to an increase in workplace motivation. It flourishes in a positive work environment, which is why so many leaders want to learn new ways to motivate their workforce, of course. Okay, so thank you, sir.